Hello YouTube, it's Kevin here, welcome back to the weekly review. I am still battling this raging illness, and as a result my sleep has gone up, my productivity has gone down, but anyways, we are here to review another item today, and uh, we will be reviewing the Anti-Social Social Club collab with Fragment, and I'll give you guys a little bit more background come the details, but let's check out the piece first. What's up you guys, here is the piece, and before I actually dive into the details, I'm going to give it a little bit of context slash background. So, if you guys are familiar and have been with the channel for a while now, you know that I have reviewed the V-Loan Fragment Collab, and now I'm about to review the Ask Fragment Collab, and, you know, if I was a viewer, I couldn't help but ask, like, why is he reviewing so much Fragment? But, like, so, long story short, Fragment, uh, if you are unfamiliar with the brand, is a Japanese streetwear brand founded by Fuji Hiroshi Fujiwara, I believe. Um, and don't quote me on that, I'm not that great with Japanese yet. But anyways, effectively this brand collabs with just like a bunch of different brands and like, for example, Jordan 1. They had a Fragment Jordan 1, Slip Fragment 1s, like a lot of people know them. And this shoe literally just has an embossed logo on it, and it's going for like two thousand, three thousand dollars. And on top of that, like, like literally, Fragment is the only brand I've seen to be able to slap a logo onto a Pikachu and make the plushie sell for like four hundred, five hundred dollars. Like this brand is just crazy, and I'm just so obsessed with why. But anyways, um, in hand, there really isn't much different uh, compared to the normal Ask hoodies. But anyways, we'll just go into the details and kind of go from there. So, um, very standard, you have your Anti-Social Social Club with the Fragment uh, Blue Lightning logo out here. On the left pack, um, of course, you have your standard kangaroo pouch for normal hoodie comfortness. Uh, inside, it's relatively comfortable. It's not as thick as an Essentials hoodie. Um, it's like that mid-tier hoodie range where you would have like a thinner layer and then maybe like put on something a little bigger. Of course, um, here the drawstrings are flat, this matters in the sizing, which I'll get to later, and of course you have just like metal embossing, I guess, I guess this is metal, yeah. Um, I guess that's just a subtle detail there to make sure that the drawstrings are uh, doing their job. <laughs> of course, here on the back you have the exact same Antisocial Social Club Fragment logo, and here you'll actually be able to see a little bit more of how the collaboration really unfolded, I guess. Um, they wove the logos together incredibly well. Like, the first S here is hidden by the Fragment logo, but over here the second S is actually on top of the Fragment logo, which is a really interesting design, and I actually am in awe as to how they screen printed something like this, but, you know, at the end of the day, ask hoodies are all screen printed, they're pretty standard, like, they're just a little bit more hype than your standard hype. It's probably like the best, like, intro hype beast hoodie to get. Um, that's as far as I have comments for the details. It's a really cool piece, honestly, like, having the Thunderbolt logo and, like, you know, ask, <laughs> branded across the board. It's really, like I said, a very good introductory hype beast piece to pick up. Of course, this for some reason, with the double lightning bolt logo, sells for double its retail price, or like roughly double. I think I saw it on StockX for like 147 or something like that, last I checked. And I bought this thing for like, I think like 80 bucks or something like that. So, you know, generally speaking, I just still am dumbfounded as to how you can get those prices with this. But yeah, oh, one quick detail that I forgot to mention. So. Um, Ask actually offers this, like, legit check tag thing now, so, um, this is how you know if something from Ask is actually legit, so you just download the app, apparently, and, uh, there's something you can do with this, and, uh, it tells you if it's legit or not, so, uh, that's all I have to say about the details, so let's talk about sizing, so, I sized up, so I'm usually a true to size small on everything. I sized up to a medium, and this fits like a very, very snug, comfortable, oversized fit, and I love it. Um, when it comes to Ask hoodie sizing, according to Reddit at least, there are two types of hoodies that Ask actually sells. They have the flat, like, uh, drawstring ones, and then they have like the 
Uh, if you guys are familiar with H&M hoodies, like they look like uh, shoelaces with the drawstrings, if you guys know what I mean. Um, there are those, and so these ones are the flat ones, and these ones size really easily, like closer to your true size. The other one tends to tr try to size just a little bit bigger, I believe, so um, if you get like your true to size in the other kind, which is like, you know, like the, the shoelacy drawstring kind, um, you're gonna get a little bit of an oversize, just a tad bit, compared to your normal true to size. But anyways, I sized up on this one and just got like an oversized fit. Anyways, it's super comfortable and I just have a lot of space in the hoodie itself. Um, I'd recommend that you should size based on your style preferences. So if you guys like more oversized hoodies, you guys should size up, but if you guys prefer your true to size when it comes to hoodies, just size to your true to size, and I'm pretty sure you guys will be very, very happy with the size that you chose. Anyways, yeah, this is a pretty quick review. It's actually a super simple item to kind of go through, but I hope it was helpful. Of course, I'm going to throw this on and show you guys what it looks like and what I define as an oversize. If you enjoyed the content, like and subscribe. Um, press F in chat or something to, about my illness. But like, anyways, yeah, I really hope you guys found this helpful. If you guys have any further sizing questions, leave them down below. Of course, if you have any other questions, you know, about life or anything, feel free to also leave them down below. Um, yeah. Thank you guys for being patient with me, and uh, yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the content. See you guys soon.